Well, we're here at Lake Ridge Winery, and it's been an absolutely wonderful dinner and even dessert paired with your wonderful wines. And can you tell us a little bit more in depth about the wines that you have here and the types of things that they pair with? Sure. What we, we've tried to do as our company from the inception is to try to make a lot of different wines that appeal to many different tastes. Um, everybody likes something different, and we're never going to be able to change that. So we tried to make a variety of wines, wines from dry to sweet, red to white, uh, pork, cream, sherry, dessert wines, sparkling wines. And so we've kind of ranged the whole gamut of, of winemaking. And, and I think it's it's been well received because as people come through the winery, as they taste our different products, I can't imagine that somebody would come through and do a tasting and not find at least one or two wines that they, they enjoy. And I probably also find it unlikely that they liked all of them because they're so different in, in sweetness levels and whatnot. But what we tried to do tonight is create, have the chefs create some dishes that were, were simple but somewhat maybe intimidating for the, the average person to create in their, their own kitchens, that you might only order that in a, in a restaurant, the seared tuna, the rack of lamb. Um, pork tenderloin probably goes a little bit both ways, but that was probably the most challenging one was the pork tenderloin because I was wanting to pair it specifically with the Friars Reserve. It's a little bit sweeter, uh, red wine. Um, we bumped up the sweetness level as well as the alcohol, more like a dessert style. And originally that one had more of a, a lemon sauce, and so I was trying to skew it over to something a little sweeter to match with the pork or the uh, proprietor's reserve. So we did a poor wine reduction, and that was the sauce that accompanied it, and kind of sweetened it up a little bit, made that, that connection there with the two foods. Um, the seared tuna, we ended up pairing with the Blanc de Bois Reserve, which uh, is one of my favorite wines. It's one that, that Jeannie actually named the grape years ago when we first started. And it was an experimental grape. It was developed out of the University of Florida. So that, that paired well with the, with the seared tuna. And then we had the rack of lamb, which that one just kind of lends itself to a dry wet red, so we had the Cuvée Noir with that. Um, but I, I'm still a big fan that everybody should drink what they like and eat what they like, and they'll probably enjoy their meal just fine. Thank you.